Hello and welcome to my channel. Please subscribe to my channel and turn notifications on so that you can get the notification about my new tutorials. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to talk about Kaspersky Security Center. So we look at the upgrade process of Security Center from 11 to 12. So before we start installation of Kaspersky Security Center, um, you can go to support.kaspersky.com under business products. Uh, you can just simply browse to them and you will see the whole list of the products which are falling under business. So you need to go to Security Center 12. To download, you just need to click on downloads and info and you'll come down over here. You have Kaspersky Security Center KCS 12.1.0 full version installation available. Uh, before you upgrade, uh, I would recommend you to look at system requirements. Um, system requirements would talk about all the required stuff which needs to be there before we upgrade. One thing which is important you need to know is um, Kaspersky Security Center installation no longer support server 2012, uh, 2008 uh, and 2008 R2 uh, anymore. So to have Kaspersky Security Center installed, you need to have at least 2012 or above operating system So, in order to install that. So, of course, for this installation, uh, I am running Kaspersky Security Center version 11.0.0.1131. I have already downloaded this setup. If you look over here, before you upgrade, it is always recommended to the, take the backup of your security center. To do that, of course, you would be using Kaspersky Lab Backup and uh, Backup Utility. I have another tutorial which talks about backup and restore process. So feel free to watch that to understand how you can backup any of the uh, Kaspersky Lab version configuration and the data. So. Of course, to begin with the installation, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just um, disconnect. I mean, I'm going to close this console and I'm going to run this setup from here. So if you look over here, now we have different options. We can install iOS, MDM, we can extract the installation packages, we can install Kaspersky Security Center Network Agent, install only Kaspersky Security Center Administration Console. But in my case, of course, I would need to upgrade it. So I will just run the security center installation process. While installation process, of course, it would upgrade it. So you will just need to follow this wizard and move forward with it. So it asks you whether you would like to install web console. So if you look over here, this version of Kaspersky Security Center provides an enhanced web based console solution for ease of management. Do you? Uh, do you want to deploy? So this is what it talks about. Of course, I would like to go with the default without doing anything. So it says I want to create a backup of the data. That's what, what you can do over here or from the utility which I talked about. Or you can say I have a backup already. So let's create a backup of this. Uh, and of course, I would just inject the password for this. You need to have password for this. By, by the way, uh, because while restoring, you would need the password. I'll click on next. This would copy all my data, all my policies, um, certificates, and related information. And that's it. My backup is done. And now I'm going to click on upgrade. Currently, if you see over here, I'm running Windows Server 2012 R2. In upcoming tutorials, I am planning to talk about migration of Kaspersky Security Center from version, uh, I mean, Kaspersky Security Center from uh, one server to another version. So probably we'll take a scenario where we would be migrating from uh, Windows Server 2012 R2 to 2019 or 2016. We'll see which version we can migrate it to. By the way, both versions are supported. If you look over here, we can migrate over Kaspersky Security Center to any of these listed operating systems. So, but I would prefer to migrate it to version 19. I'll try to prepare one server with version 2019. And of course, we'll try to install this on that uh, and we'll migrate over Kaspersky Security Center. 
but currently of course we are just updating the security center administration server and this process you can see is going on it's just simple process no uh, no special requirements except the prerequisites should be ready and of course you are already running kaspersky security center so most of the prerequisites would be ready but just as i said in my uh, video um, just before few 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 minutes i have talked about it like you cannot install security center on 2012-8 or 2012-8 r2 so in order to install that the basic requirement is your current security center should be running either on 2012 or above operating system of the server So now if you see my security center administration server is updated my installation of uh, plugin for iOS exchange is done now it is just installing uh, my Kaspersky security center web console and once this is completed we are good our upgrade process would be completed we just need to finish the visit and then we will launch our Kaspersky security center to see what is the upgraded version we can see over there so now if you see over here it is completed if you want to start MMC based administration console of course you need to check on this if you want to start the web console let's start both of them to see how both looks in terms of your events in terms of your console let's look at the feel um, look in the feel of the console so this is my administration console if you look over here for version 12 and you can see security center 12 over here or if I go over here you can see the exact version and the build of security center and moreover if you come over here drill down you would be able to see let's see I think um, it's just a quick start visit I'm just going to ignore it for now uh, okay and I'll just drop it down and I have one machine already available which is this one rest all my policies tasks and everything is in place nothing uh, went anywhere all the settings and everything is already migrated I'm going to just click on this and of course I would be using my credentials to log into it and I would try to use this and see if I can log in all right we are good to go because you can see administration server uh, software based console is already up now we are just waiting for this to load which is my web console of course it's my first time I'm loading the web console it might take little time uh, more than what it would normally take but because it's a first time I'm running this so we can bear this delay of it and we'll just close this setup and we will just wait for it to run I normally of course prefer to have a proper certificate and of course if you would like to know how we can do that you can talk about how you can integrate your CA sign certificate for this web console um, and one more thing which I normally do is I just put my sites in the trusted websites uh, let's see how long would it take otherwise let's just try to rerun it I'll just pin this over here it's just taking a little longer than I, ex I expected but let's see Let me just Okay. So in my VM, I actually I did not have Chrome installed, so it was taking a little longer to load what I did. Same thing which I was doing over there, I did over here. I just launched my console using Chrome. I'll just exit over here and then I'll just show you this. I'm going to enter my credentials and it's quick over here. 
Internet Explorer, you always have different kind of security and some plugin blocking, ActiveX. I don't want to get into those settings uh, in order to prolong this video. I'll just prefer to show you from here in the console through Chrome. So if you look over here, all your things are over here. You have dashboards, reports, event selections, notifications. You have your devices over here. All right, and then you have managed devices. Same way you have your devices appearing over here. You have moving rules, you have device selections, tags, added groups. Most of the settings which you have over there, you can see over here also. So if you want to play around more about the more into web, we can talk about it. But this is what your web console looks like, which shows you the glimpse of your dashboard and related status when you log in. Thank you so much for watching this walkthrough. Please use the comment section below to let me know if this solves your problem or this is what you are looking for and to discuss more about any of the technologies which I'm talking about. Thank you and stay blessed.